coming to you live on your chin. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> this is the Going Deep Show. For the powers of evil, because good is dumb. It's time going deep show. I'm the kid. Joining me today, Nurse Fiona. What's happening? Just fucking trying to get drunk. Okay. I was drunk and then I sobered up. I know, so did I. I almost zonked out on the couch. <laughs> I was sawing logs. <laughs> yeah, straighten right the fuck out. It's amazing. I don't even know how it's possible to go. Like, I get drunk and then I get sober and I can get drunk again. It sounds like a vicious, awesome cycle of life. Like all in the same day, and I don't have a problem. No. And I work tonight. Isn't that what's caused a? Isn't that what's, what's caused? What's called a functioning alcoholic? I mean, maybe if you do it every day. I don't do there it every go. day. We do ASMR. Do it right into the mic. She's eating corn nuts. Everybody, not a sponsor. Corn nuts are not a sponsor. They're fucking corn nuts from. They're not like. They're not like the corn nuts. You know, like. Trademark cord nuts or fucking <laughs> from the goddamn local grocery store. If you'd like to be a sponsor of the, pro- of the program here, though, hit us up studio at Going Deep Show. This email to do it. We got all sorts of stories and things. We got recaps of the weekends. We have all sorts of things that we'd like to bring up here on the show, documenting our fun and all of the antics that we have here going on. Oh, yeah. I'm always feel very bad that you see. I we keep you up here. I always feel this way. Like, cause you're, you you work over all all night, and then you show up here, and you're rip and ready to rock and roll, do the show, have some Long Island stuff. But I always feel like at some point I look across the table here, and your eyeballs start to turn chinky on me. I did for a minute there, like about twenty minutes ago. Uh-huh. She turned chinkers. Then I like that just just stopped. Jackie Chan over there. Yeah. Settling in, not kung fu style, Jackie Chan. No, like just fucking passed out, gonna fall on the ground, Jackie Chan. Fucking Asian looking. Yeah. <laughs> She's doing more ASMR. <laughs> Slobbing the knob over like, there. You know, I got paid to fucking uh, polish knobs for a while. What? It, it, is it similar to when uh, Dr. Pinkie Pie did the, uh, had 80, she, what, she fingered 80 buttholes? Wasn't that what she had talked about in the recent episode of the Dr. Nurse F show, which you guys should go check out? Go check out Dr. Nurse. Shit. Yeah, she did. She had to do that, but she had to do that for, uh, for she was in, like medical school. They were doing rectal exams, and she did, like, a fuck ton of fucking asshole fingering because (laughs) it was her and, like, one other person, and they were fucking doing fucking rectal exams. I'm like, yeah, well. I'm telling you, you guys say things that should be on t-shirts. You just said fuck ton of rectal examinations. Is that what you just said? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, fingering the buttholes. Do you ever have to do that? Are you in there digging around? I haven't had to do a fucking digital rectal uh, removal of a turd in a long time. <laughs> digital rectal removal of a turd. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I used to do, like, a bunch of them in fucking hospice because they, these people get on their cottocks and get all bound up. Oh, yeah. And shit. And I'm like, God damn it, I can give them more drugs. To loosen them up. Do you throw coffee down there? Do you find every type of way to get this fucking shit from coming oh, out of them? Oh, we do fucking tap water, fucking soap sud enemas and shit, and it's like... You, you get some, somebody that don't fuck it, so it doesn't eat shit for fucking weeks, weeks, and I'm doing these fucking soap sets enemas like every other day, filling a bedpan in like five minutes, up to like three or four bedpans. And I'm like, where the fuck is this shit coming from? You're not eating. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? They're You're not, not eating. But it's dumping right out of them. Yeah. Yeah. He's just sitting there fucking boo, like mud, like just fucking like a like a like a pile of mud when you're a kid. Yeah. Jesus Christ. And I'm like, well, throw that bedpan away. Well, throw that bedpan away. This is the type of job I don't want. That's what I used to do. <clears throat> I haven't had to do that in a long time. But it didn't bother me. I mean, you know, he fucking died eventually. Did you ever notice there were any corn nuts in this? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man, it was solid mud. I'm trying to gross you out as you gobble the corn nuts, lady. You gotta remember what the fuck I do. You I know. Me out. There's no way to gross you out. There isn't. I don't, I think don't there like is. eyeballs. What? Eyeballs freak out? Like any time, there's a scene in John Wick where he has a knife. Have you seen the Wicks? Yeah. Where he's going to, I think it's in the third one, 
when he's getting right into the guy's eye, and you think you know, in typical movie fashion, they're, they're not gonna, gonna do it. They're not gonna do it, but sure enough, man, right in the fucking wow, eye, right in the fucking eyeball. Oh yeah, <sighs> oh yeah. Like this is shit like that. Like people come into the fucking ER and they got fucking like weird shit going on with their eyeballs, and like my eyes will fucking water. I can't do it. We're talking body parts, everybody. I always pull up headlines. I try to be, you know, informative here on this retarded show of ours. That's so great. we have 14 weird facts about human body that you probably never knew. Now, I'm guessing that you're going to know all these in the field that you're in. Okay. Maybe a few. I didn't read any of this article. It's just going to be a headline grab here. I'm just going to hit the hit the talking points. And if they formatted their goddamn website right, I'm just going to be able to scroll and get right to them. Okay. That's if they that. didn't, we're going to be digging for shit and it's going to be fucking awful. But here we that go. Let's awful. fucking do it. Uh, number one, babies uh, have more bones than adults. Is this true? Babies. Well, I mean, their brains and shit, like when shit fuses together, that becomes like a bone. Like, I don't. Most adults have somewhere around the uh, same number, 206 bones in their body. You'll never know exactly how many you have anyway, since a lot of them are little bitty bones. Sesamoids. Sesamoids in your finger joints. Babies, though, they have even more. So it's true. The babies do have more bones in their body. That's fucking, okay, that's a little weird. It's a little wacky one. Yeah, I talk about soft spot. It's just a car looking at <laughs> Like I said, because their, their skulls, the shit hasn't fused together yet. Speaking of girl shit, like, I don't know what it is. I, I, I forget what TV show or what movie it was in where the soft spot, there's like somebody was like pushing their fingers. In there I have seen. I, oh, I, God. I, I saw a fucking infant with a goddamn soft spot that was so sunken in. Like, fucking, it's a font, and they're called fontanelles. And the mom's like, do you think so? Do you think something's wrong? And I'm like, motherfucker, get that kid to the ER right fucking yeah, now. The kid's lethargic and the fucking soft spot's like sunk in the fuck in. Get the kid to the goddamn so emergency room. So was the, I mean, it was down like burnt near brain or something? I'm like, how it much? Was, it was like you could put your hand on it and it was like a divot, like a deep divot. And the kid's like fucking, you know, lethargic, like a, like a fucking wet rag. I'm like, Did, what the fuck are you doing? Are you retarded? But this is podunk. I'm going up to see, you know, this is like, Jesus Christ. I'm like, get the kid to the fucking, get to go to Covenant now. Yeah. Like, I want to hear that you're going to Covenant. Like, I'm going to leave when you leave and we're going to go at the same time and you're going to go to fucking Covenant right now. <laughs> the the only thing that is that disgusts me or made me think of this was, I'm watching this F is for Family now. I've, I've gone back and started season one. Mm-hmm. Turned on my girl to it and showed her this. And she's totally into it. And... There's a scene where the one of the kids is like in a diaper, like a younger kid who's in a diaper, well, obviously older than he should be. But they find baby, like a baby's nest or a, a robin's nest or something, and they're, they're paying over to him, and he's and he's, he's got the he's got the egg cracked open. He's like, somebody left a baby bird in this one. But he was eating, he was eating the fucking egg. Seriously, fucking. <laughs> so that video I sent you, the fucking like my basement flooding. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. My backyard is fucking saturated. The the fucking beach has shrunk in half. So that there's water. so much water in the fucking pond. <laughs> so hey, tag you're it. You get the plumbing problem this week, man. Jesus Christ, the last two weeks. I was like, what the fuck is going on? What is this shit? It just the pipe fucking separated the joint. But like, no fucking, I go in the backyard, and I'm like, I'm looking at the pond. Wait, speaking of which, did you go piss in there? In the pond? No, in my house. Just now. Okay. I, Put the thing I need down. to I run. Flipped, I flipped it up. You flipped it back up. Yeah, I flipped okay. it back up. I need to fucking fix that thing because I think that's the biggest problem. Is I gave, I didn't put, I didn't install the right handle into the fucking toilet shitter, and it's hitting the, it's hitting this spot. So when it goes it down, sticks. it sticks and it just keeps on coming. So it's like I have to fucking really. Okay, so. So I fucking. <laughs> so I go out there and the fucking pond is like so full. The beach is like half gone, and look down and I've got these ducks right, the fucking fat ass farm ducks. And there's like one, two, three, four, five, five, like fucking eight eggs fucking stuck to the bottom of the pond. She shits them out. She just goes swimming and shits out eggs. She doesn't fucking sit on them. They don't sit on them. Can you imagine? That's a good way to abort some things. So you got to teach some people on abortion. Just fucking shit shit them out in the fucking pond. (laughs) You know how long? You know how long? Fucking fucking eggs last? They last a long fucking time. Do they really? Mm-hmm. I could probably pluck those eggs out and mix up some fucking omelets. <sighs> if you don't wash them off, wash the outside coating off. 
get back to our list here. We glow in the dark, but only slightly. Do we really glow in the dark? Human beings, do we glow Fuck, in the dark? No, we don't. That's bullshit. Do you think of bioluminous animals like angelfish are cool? Good news. You glow too. In a similar process called biophoton emission. Is that real? Well, Is that mean, real? Are they fucking with us here? I'm sorry. I don't fucking see shit in the dark. The chemical reaction in your cells throw off tiny amounts of light that scientists have been able to capture with ultra sensitive cameras. Oh my God, that means we all glow. We all have this glow about us. Isn't that awesome? That makes us feel good, doesn't it? Well, I mean, like, so usually it's like when somebody's getting fucked. Oh, this. So like, no, it doesn't matter. I've heard that. I've heard that afterward. There's a glow after. I call them sex cheeks. It's the sex cheeks. Oh, yeah, sex cheeks. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, I had my cheeks a little played with the other day. Your butt cheeks? Yeah, my she butt cheeks. She tossed the salad. She did not toss the salad. She just thumbed your ass. She got close a little. She got pretty close down there. She did. Did she thumb it? Yesterday, no, I think she got, she got a little close to thumbage down there. I think she could tell. I was a little, I was a little hesitant. I kind of pulled off a little bit. You know but she, um, th But the thing is, the next day, she wanted to rub my ass. She's got lotion out, and she's like, strip down, get over here. And I felt like I was going to get spanked. I felt like I was going to get a little wacko right in the ass. Well, get spanked. I don't, I don't have a problem getting spanked. Yeah. But she did. She took the different approach, and she, she just gonna, went. She went fun on the butt instead of spanky angie. She got spanked the old bee holes, but I want to know. She did, hasn't spanked the bee hole yet. She could tell she was diving towards it though, and I kind of like I, I did hesitate. We have to have a conversation prior to like what's going on here. You know, what was on the what was on the menu the night before? Right. When's the last time you did a little? <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. We don't want to. We don't want to turn people off. We want to make sure. That we're 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 kind of on the same page when it comes to these things. Hey, listen, when I'm fucking when I'm fucking getting my goddamn fuck back on, I'm gonna be fucking getting it back on. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna get it back. Fucking get it back on. Can you give us recaps and stuff? You gonna come in here? Can you bring the whoever it is? Just bring them in here and be. Oh yeah. Hey, how's it going? We're gonna have a, gonna have a comment card like at Wendy's when you go out of the ring a bell. That's good shit. Have a right bell to ring so when you're out. Dang, it was a good meal. It's good shit here. Good shit. <laughs> fucking. So what is it? Fucking <laughs> compliments to the chef. Compliments to the chef. Now, here, I got a question for you now, okay? Mm -hmm. As you're preparing to get ready to do these things. I don't know when the fuck. Here, here's the other day. She gave I mean, me, I do she, know. She jokingly told me, okay? Because I, I did some maintenance, some trim, you know, Good. for the first time that Good. she needed to get down there, right? But then she jokingly said it was like Austin Powers when he had just the hair on the hair. Because mm. I just kept a little. I don't want to go like full fucking. Well, I mean, angry like honestly, bald cat. You know, honestly, you can do your chest, your fucking, your belly, your fucking balls, your shaft, whatever the fuck. Don't fucking shave your ass. No, I've never shaved my ass. I mean, you can shave your asshole. I, well, I I get as close under gooch to asshole, but I, get that fucking notcher. And the fucking get your fucking just like get the gut I get the cheeks. Her. She's I everybody need to describe. You <laughs> she has her leg up. <laughs> she's Spread over the arm cheek. over the arm of the chair. Get the she's razor and she's let me let me get a good glimpse you know. here. Okay, right there. All right, okay. Get it. Get it around the fucking <laughs> asshole. And then kinda go kinda go up a little I've bit. Never shave here's the thing. I don't want to shave my ass or anything like this. Well, she wants to lick your ass, she doesn't want to lick hair. What I'm saying is I would let her wax me and then whoosh, and go ripsy dipsies. That's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable. But I'll tell you what, when it's done, it's good. The sadistic part of me and the like twisted thing and the pain kind of like pleasure thing, I love to go to the dentist. Have you heard this about me? I love to go to the dentist. I don't like when they hit fucking nerves. No, but I don't mind going to the dentist. No, when they're digging in there, even if they hit some gums and it gets a little sensitive and things. Nah, fuck all that shit. I, no, I don't mind. I, I think it's because I had a really, really attractive hygienist. It was an older lady. She was super good looking. She reminded me of Parker. Remember, was it Parker Posey? Used to be I mean, Parker Posey. No, I mean Parker Posey. Who was the girl who just who just passed away? Who was on Night Court? Do you remember the Night Court show? I do. That was like one of my favorite fucking shows. Super Dan, the fucking uh, yeah. What was, was he? What was the goddamn? He was one of the fucking lawyers. The uh, Night Court cast. The, oh my the God. woman just passed away and she was super fucking was it hot. the black lady? No. Let's see. Here. Oh. Marky Post. Marky Post died? Marky Post is dead, yes. When the fuck did she die? She died. How old was she? August 7th, 2021. She just died not very long, not very long ago. 
She was born in 1950. Oh, wow. So she, I didn't realize she was that old. But she, to me, was very, very attractive. I loved her, actually. She was fucking awesome. She was great. And my hygienist had some similar looks to her. So every time I would go to the dentist, it was never like a, oh, crap, I got to, darn, I got to go have Margie Post dig in my teeth. You know, it was it was an enjoyable thing. So I was always just like, I, I'm not saying it turned me on. But I did not, I didn't... I, it didn't, it didn't, it, it wasn't terrible. It was not a terrible situation. Huh. So that plain and, pe- and pleasure thing that they always say about how... Yeah, I'd rather have that in my fucking, in my fucking vagina or asshole or something. Fucking give me that pain pleasure shit. Not in my mouth. So she, she still looked pretty good as she passed away. fucking sucks. Well, you're right about the nerve stuff. What did she die of? The nerve thing. Uh, I don't know. Probably COVID or some shit. I mean... She was not that old. She really wasn't that old. Mm-mm. What, 1950? 1950. 1950. 60, what does that mean? No, she was like 71. 71, 71 years old. That's, yeah. I mean, that's up there. That's not really that up there. No. I, I hope to live past that. I, well, if I'm demented, I hope I get murdered. You, you want to get murdered? Pinkie Pie is going to kill me if I become demented, yes. Can we come up with an agreement? If we if I get up there too, I can, you, we can get something situated where it's like, oh, I'm not, you know, yeah, we should do this. I mean, yeah. Everybody, we're going to get this situation figured out so that when I'm, I'm ready to kick off, if, if I'm not it, with it, my friends here, my best of friends are going to, uh, they're going to murder me. <laughs> can you put this out of the podcast? Uh, we already put a show out about exactly how it's going to happen with me. Really? Yeah, Can we we'll, we're we're gonna have a follow up on this one because I, I want that too, and I kind of have thought about it. like what 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 age do you think or have you thought about it as like when did I start thinking about it happening or how old do I think I'll be? Well, now I I had this conversation with my dad and I said you know you ever think about the year you, did not to think about next year or the year after that did you think about the year you're gonna get to you know I, I hope that I don't get anywhere beyond fucking like forgetful twenty fifty if I get to twenty fifty. And, and some th- things goes crazy and I'm off the rails at that point. That that to me is a long, that's a decent life. That's 75 fucking years. My mother is fucking, what is she like? Goddamn. What am I? 41. So she's 71 years old, right? Yeah. She's 71 years old. So she's the same age as, part, as, uh, as Marky Post. Then. She's demented. Or she was. She's, uh, apparently she's got dementia. I haven't talked to her in fucking a decade. Does your mom look like Marky Post still? Does she look like this? I don't know what she looks like. I haven't seen her in a decade. She didn't look like that. She used to be like beautiful and she just fucking got fat and gross I remember yeah your mom was pretty hot she was alright looking but she had that Peg Bundy hair and that was that was like the wannabe the Peg Bundy wannabe the thing okay. though is the Marky Post we just brought this up with her you bring up photos of her and she has that whole bouffant pff, kicking that's, up the huge that's, thing that's fine and good but goddamn, don't be so I don't know just uh, you know, people are going to go back and look at the hairdos we had. We were kids. We, I had a fucking mullet wearing my New York Mets hat. See, I didn't have a mullet. When 80s. I was like in fucking seventh grade or eighth grade or something like that, I had this spiral perm that fucking, uh, what's his name? Ryan, Ryan and Greg Leinberger's mom fucking did it. You remember them? You can't understand. Oh, the, yeah. The Lime, I remember Leinberger. I, I, uh, I went to school with, with uh, Kim Leinberger. Remember her? Greg fucking does hair for like Project Runway. No shit. No shit. No shit. He does fucking famous people here and travels all over the fucking world. Future episodes, not to get too morbid, is going to be about how we're going to die. You oh. guys you guys already did this one. I, I don't think I've listened to that We one. did. I'm going out with a bang. How are you doing it? Hunter S. Thompson style? No, she's going to fucking shoot me in the fucking head and I'm going to throw me on a fucking fire and roast marshmallows over my dead ass. Dude, there's no way she's going to shoot you. Well, she has to. She said she would, so she has to. I'll give her the gun. She just has to shoot me. I mean, I'm demented, so I won't know any better. But here's the thing, though: you don't don't you want to find somebody who would ne- you, who would want to shoot you? <laughs> She'll shoot me. You know? But she loves you. She doesn't want to kill She'll you. She'll shoot me because she loves me. There's no way. I don't think she would. I don't think she would. Ah, she'll figure it out. She'll hospice the fuck out of me. She'll give me drugs. Do you ever picture yourself where you'd be like your eyes like not even looking at what direction like a fucking gecko? I'm hoping so. I want to be as googly eyed as a motherfucker. I want to be fucking man. high as a kite. Shh. Get high and die. Those are my words. I'm just gonna overdose on something. Fucking. You can't be. do it on morphine. 
I just want to know. I think that's the best way to go because you're getting high, you're probably feeling good, and then you're just like fucking, Ooh, I feel good, and I'm fucking dead. Bam, oh, none. Heroin. Overdose on heroin. Yeah. I mean, kid, this is the Go Deep Show. We encourage you to all overdose on heroin here. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. If you want to reach out, give us a final word. Overdose on heroin. Don't overdose on, mer- <laughs> on fucking morphine, dude. It's, it's, you're going to fuck yourself. Heroin. We'll see you guys soon. Chill to the next one.